This is just a quick follow-up. <coughs> By the way, AJ here. This is just a quick follow-up on the EA clone. I had a few questions about how solid... Oh, oh, it's pretty solid, except that uh, you'll see here I dropped it. That is the, uh, the Terminator mounted on top of there, and it is uh, rock solid on top of there. Uh, there is no wiggle at all, really. It's, it's on there, okay? Uh, you can hold it. It ain't, it ain't going nowhere. <clears throat> the second question was, is the pin adjustable or not? And what I was trying to say. <clears throat> there is another version of this out, I guess, where this pin, where the pin here freely floats. In other words, it'll just fall down like that like if you tilt it. See how that did not fall through there? And I'll push it out like that. <clears throat> and now turn it upside down. It does not fall. There is a version out where that pin uh, just freely floats, falls in and out of, the, uh, of, of this plastic piece. This does not do that. It's a, okay? So that's what I meant about that. I am going to tell you that this fit, this piece, this piece is very, very long. Uh, so I have an 18500 battery in here. It will fit the 8650, but barely. So I wanted to, a little bit more clearance. I have not yet gotten my Dremel out, and I will just grind a little bit off uh, uh, on that pin when I decide to uh, uh, move up to the 18650. Okay? It probably would fit a kick clone. Oh, one, there was one more question, I think, about the, kit, about the inside threading here. There is inside threading. Okay? Both on the top. And I don't think you want to put a kick in the bottom here. But there is threading here also. So I think those are the three questions, actually, that there were. All right. I hope I answered those questions. Thank you very much.